Well, so far, as you've just said, what we know is that a 36-year-old man, Merseyside Police have just said, has been arrested on the suspicion of murder of Olivia Pratt-Corbell. She was killed here in Dovecot on Monday night. The police have told us that the order of events, as far as they know, they're working on theories, but as far as they know, on that night, two men were walking down this road here behind me where a man who they may now have arrested approached them with a handgun. He then began to shoot the two men, one of whom is recognised now as 35-year-old convicted burglar Joseph Nee. They began to run away, uh, run away apologies, from the man with the gun. One of the men, Joseph Nee, then sought refuge in the house of Olivia Pratt-Corbell. Her mother, Cheryl, tried to close the door from the man, but he was able to get a gun past the door. He then fired. He hit Olivia's mum, Cheryl, in the wrist. He then hit Olivia in the chest. That shot proved fatal to her, and he was then able to hit Joseph Nee with two bullets. Joseph Nee was then, a little later, taken to hospital by a car that we now know to be a black Audi Q3. Police have that vehicle. Now, of course, this is one of three murders that have t has taken place as a result of gun violence in Liverpool in the last week. Yesterday, we heard from Olivia's family for the first time in an official statement. They said that we as a family are heartbroken and have lost a huge part of our life. If anyone knows anything, now is the time to speak up. It's not about being a snitch or a grass. It's about finding out who took our baby away from us. And that could be a little bit closer now that the police have made an arrest. As we say, a 36-year-old man has been arrested and we'll bring you more as that comes. Over the past few days, Merseyside police have been carrying out a series of arrests and raids and that's part of a crackdown on, on, on their behalf to try and find and reduce the amount of gun crime in, in the Liverpool region. Thank you very much, Sophie. That was our Northwest reporter, Sophie Reaper, on that horrific case in Liverpool. Now